what is going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and in today's video I got a little project I'm going to be working on I happened to go to a thrift store the other day and uh, just to check out a couple things and usually when I go to this thrift store, it's more to see like what type of cars, toys they ended up getting. So, I walked in uh, about a day or two ago and guys, I picked something up and I'm like, yo, I can make a project out of this thing and I'm just gonna show you what it is. I'm really excited about it. So here we go. We got ourselves a Hennessy Venom GT, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So I picked this thing up. Um, apparently this is like a 1 8 scale, which is, I mean, shoulder to shoulder from, to me. So as you guys can see a comparison, it's like shoulder to shoulder. Um, so I picked this thing up for like $6. The only thing that uh, is kind of killing me about it, which uh, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, I hate it, but hey. So the only issue that it has, it's actually broken right there. As you see, guys, on this side, there is a uh, mirror here. The mirror and a little bit of the door is broken right there, as you guys can see. But other than that, I mean, yeah, the body has a little bit of scuff marks. Right here was actually the price tag of uh, the thrift store I ripped off. Uh, I'm going to have to get some, like, goof off or something to clean up that residue. But uh, all in all, this thing is pretty cool looking. Um, as soon as I walked in there, I saw it. I'm like, yep, that's going with me. <laughs> and for six bucks, guys... That right there, there's a screw. Whoa, there's a screw right there that I had already taken out. Um, but guys, this thing is actually pretty freaking cool. There's something here that I'm actually missing. Uh, there's a part that goes right back here that I had taken off. I had already taken off the body of this thing to see what uh, what I can do. So. Actually, what we are going to do, um, I have ordered some things for this that we are going to be doing to it. So, toy grade RC car. This one you could actually buy. I don't know if you guys be able to see it right there, but it does say Toys R Us. So you were able to get this at Toys R Us. Uh, I think it was like 90 bucks, 100 bucks or something like that. I forget. You can still find these things online uh, on eBay um, depending on how they look cosmetically. Uh, I saw one going for $190. Uh, but that thing was still in box and everything. Remote control. This one unfortunately does not bring a remote control. But it is fortunate because I fixed that issue. So let's take the body off first before I show you some other stuff. Uh, let's see what we're working with underneath the hood here and uh, go from there. All right. So this is not my normal workbench that I'm working that I'm using right now. Um, I'm actually in the middle of cleaning or repainting my office right now uh so right now everything i'm going to be doing is on this little table setup thing that i got so i already took the body off like i said and this thing does have lights in the back there it's got lights in the front here is the connector for it right there as you guys can see so it has it does have light buckets front and rear um, this thing's cool. I'm like really liking this body. So here are the guts. 
uh, that we are going to be working with. So this thing is just rear wheel drive. Um, as you guys can see, it's literally just rear wheel drive. The motor is literally right there. As you guys, can see, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it's behind there. So right there, you guys can see right in that little crevice cutout right there. That's where the motor is at. Uh, the motor on this thing uh, seems like it's a small motor, but what I'm going to do is basically tear all this out. Uh, this was a speaker. Apparently, this thing has a sound or whatever. Um, if I could get the sound to work for it, that would be awesome, but I probably won't be able to. So I just want to get this thing going. Um, now, what we are going to be using to power up this car is going to be this bad boy right here. So we are going to be using this uh, Hobbywing Quick Run 1060 brushed ESC. Only reason I am going with brushed is because I'm basically testing this out to see how it does. Uh, this is a brush motor that is in here. So I'm basically going to connect the brush motor to this. Hopefully the motor doesn't burn out or this ESC doesn't burn out. And uh, do it that way. Uh, then the other thing that I'm going to do here is the servo, which is right up here. As you guys can see right there, that is a servo that's right under here. It's literally just a motor with um, connected to a box of gears, and that's a servo. So what I'm going to do is basically rip all these guts out. Um, rip all these guts out, get this motor connected to the ESC and uh, connect a servo to it and get this thing running and see how she is going to do. So let's just go ahead and start on with this thing. So now I have the rear end taking taken off of the body. As you guys can see, that is a nice small puny motor that comes with this thing. Um, how well is how well is this motor going to do with the uh, ESC? I don't know. Will I strip any gears? Probably. be uh, serious oh look at that so usually these things come and they're plastic this one is actually metal brass okay not so bad not so bad let's take off this other side here this other wheel I'm really interested to see how this thing <laughs> does, man. I really want to see how this thing does. And there we go. Here's your next tire. And these tires are actually kind of wide. Look at that. So as you guys can get a comparison of how wide it is. There we go. It's, it's pretty dang wide. All right. So now let's check out and see how small this motor really is and while we're here let's check the gears
here is the puny little motor that this thing's running on. So apparently this car was able to go 80 miles an hour with that motor. 80 miles an hour. I highly doubt it. <laughs> um, I did see a couple videos on YouTube and uh, nobody was able to get 80 miles an hour out of this thing. Um, you could clearly see the videos and they flat out and they were not doing no 80 miles an hour at all. All right, so that's crack this bad boy open. Oh, dang. All right, so the gearing in here, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I don't think that these gears in here are going to last too much. Um, so here we go. Here's the gears. I can't get this. Well, yeah, I probably can. I just, yeah, there we go. All right, so I got it out. So here we go. Here's the gearing on it. As you guys can see there. That's the gearing for this thing. And um, I have a pretty good damn feeling that <laughs> these gears are not going to last too long if I upgrade the motor to something else. Um, of course, this is not a locked diff, which we are going to open up right now. And should we lock up this diff, hit me down in the links below. No. Hit me in the link below. In the link, I'm sorry. Uh, hit me up in the comment section. Uh, let me know if I should lock up this diff. Or... If I should just leave it as is because I don't know if I will be able to get any types of gears to fit in here. So just hit me up in the comment section, guys. So this motor is pretty damn small, as you guys can see. Um, phew, a 540 motor in this thing. This motor kind of looks like a motor that you would see in like a uh, 1 16th scale um, I'm guessing or maybe not even that but what we are going to do is get this motor hooked up to where is the ESC <laughs> this ESC and we're going to run it like this and see what happens. Uh, if I burn out the motor, then I burn out the motor. We shall see. So let me put this thing back together. Uh, put this rear end back into the car. All right, so I put the uh, rear end back in the car. And now I am going to remove the sound speaker that they have in here um, because I'm not going to need that I am NOT going to put sound in this thing so I'm not gonna need it so that's coming out the servo you guys will now see what the servo looks like now the other thing, this thing does not have any type of suspension at all. Um, none. Again, this is a toy grade. Granted, there are toy grades that come with suspension. 
that have some type of suspension, but this has none, zip, zero, nada. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. So here we go, guys. Here's a servo connected to that box. And there's just a gear inside, and there's your servo. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a servo. Um, I'm going to grab a servo, put it on here, and uh, kind of hope for the so, best. So far, all I have gotten has been the... Motor is now hooked up. As you guys can see, I have it hooked up to the ESC now. Um, the servo, I just found a servo lying around that was literally just lying around. I put it on, hot glued it on here temporarily just to see uh, how this thing <laughs> is going to do. I have a feeling the hot glue might not hold, but... If it does, that'll be great uh, just for testing purposes for right now because what I really want to do is I kind of want to flip the servo the opposite way um, and all that horror stuff. So with that being said, uh, right now this still has the uh, Tamiya connectors and I didn't know but I ended up finding a 5,000 ma. Uh, a 7.5 volt with a Tamiya Tamaya um, plug on it. So now that this is somewhat situated, um, the one thing I really want to do is show you guys the remote that I'm going to be using for this. And that is actually going to be this Fly Sky. Whoa. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna be using this Fly Sky G FS GT 2B. Um I believe it's only a two-channel radio, and I think for this application it's gonna work great. Um if it just so happens that I end up shelving or shelving this uh this car. I can always use this controller for my one of my other RCs. So even if I don't continue using it on this, I can always use it for something else. So let's get this out of the box. Get the um, receiver hooked up and uh, get some batteries into this transmitter and uh, get going see what this thing is going to do. So, here we go. And stuff's already falling. Alright. So, checking to see inside the box. So, that's the instruction manual. Um, put that over here to the side. Here is the controller, guys. So, as you guys can see, it is nicely packaged. And here is the controller. Let's get this box out of the way. And this thing actually feels pretty dang nice, let me tell you. Oh, so that's awesome. So this battery actually, <laughs> so this battery, so this controller actually brings, I did not know or I forgot, but this brings a rechargeable battery. My luck is that my uh, Flysky GT3C uses the same exact battery, so that's a good thing. So let me open this up, power it on, and there's some battery in here. That is awesome, guys. That's awesome. So I'm already liking it. So this is what I'm going to need right now. Let's just put this controller here to the side. Put this controller here to the side. Um, that controller was actually fairly cheap. I believe I got it for under $30 um, for, it says three channel. I believe it says three channel. 
There's a third channel right here on the uh, on the handle. Um, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to do one-handed, but I can always figure something out to end up making it, being able to use it one-handed. Uh, I might end up getting a thumb wheel to put on here so I can be able to use it one-handed. But now, let's just go on ahead and get this. ESC in here. Put that one in there. The steering servo. I already put this on backwards. <laughs> so, alright. Steering servo in there. ESC in here. And that's all we need for this bad boy. All right. So now that that's hooked up, let me bring you guys down here. So you guys can see everything's hooked up. No, haven't really put anything correctly yet. I just want to make sure that this thing works. And then we're going to take it out for a rip. All right, so that is on. Where is the battery? Right here. Put the battery here to the side. I don't want to put too much weight in there yet. That's connected. All right. So let's hope that uh, this works. Power on the controller. All right, as you guys can see, power's on. Now we're gonna switch on the ESC. And all right, I gotta fix the servo here. Servo's working. All right. So they're saying this thing goes 80 miles an hour, guys. All right. So I just figured something out here. It goes faster in reverse, so I gotta switch the motor leads here and here this one goes to that one this one goes to that one all right let's turn this bad boy back on again all right so here we go So she's working. <laughs> All right. So the servo. Servo's working. I'm going to have to turn it. Um, I'm going to have to turn the servo so it can be down to the bottom. So now that that is on, situated, I'm going to take care of that. And I'm not going to do it tonight uh, because it's late. But gonna take this out for a spin tomorrow all right so let's shut this off and do that all right so far I have got this all situated um, where the ESC is going to be mounted uh, which is going to be right over here, like that. So I'm mounting the ESC right here, like so. Um, the switch, I'm actually kind of putting it in a cool little spot. So I'll show you here on this side. So, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to put the switch for the ESC right here. The reason 
that I'm putting the ESC right there in this little hole here right there is because on the body there is this right here it has the air dam right here the switch is going to be right there as you guys will be able to see right there so it's actually hanging down a little bit too low I'm trying to move it up screw it in I found some screws that are right here on the edge <laughs> So I found these black little screws that are right there, which are actually going to be these two, not that one. So these two little screws that are right here is what's going to hold the on off button that's going to be right in there hidden out of the way. So you won't really be able to notice it. <clears throat> so. Yeah, so I'm going to be mounting it right there. If you guys can see, that's where I'm going to mount the on-off switch. Right there, and I'll be able to get in here with my finger right through that hole. Turn it on, on and off. Um, be able to turn it on and off and do... And have it work so the only other thing that I have been thinking about with this is the battery so this battery um, <laughs> yeah so this battery is supposed to well, not supposed to, but this had a battery that came with it. I have no idea where it is. And it went underneath right in here. Now, the thing about that, so yeah, right in there. So the thing about that is this battery is a little bit too big to fit into that hole there. Where is it? Yes, it is. It's too big to fit into that hole. I got to figure out a way to be able to get the battery in and out because the way that the body is held on this chassis here, uh, there's a lot of screws. Uh, so in order to take off the body, I have a whole bunch of screws and the air diffuser that goes on the back of the body here. So, um, what I got to try to figure out is how I'm going to get the battery to go into the chassis somehow. Um, the thing with this chassis and the body is that the body is held on by screws. And there's a lot of screws. I think it's like... Three of them in the front, uh, three of them in the front, three of them in the back, uh, three on each side, left side and right side, and it also has the rear diffuser, and there's also a screw, jeez, <laughs> that gets screwed in to the back right there. So as you guys can see here on the body, we have... Where to go one two three screws there same one right there two three screws here on the side we have one two three screws that go there and two that go on the back plus two that go on the back plus the um Plus the ones that go onto the rear diffuser. Um, so, only thing that's holding me up right now is trying to figure out how I'm going to be putting this battery in and out. Um, thing about the thing about it is that this might change. Uh, if this does pretty good like this and this setup I can always 
I'm going, I might be upgrading it to a brushless. Let me know down in the comments if I should do a brushless on this and just see how it goes. If I kind of don't want to break it because this is a nice looking body. Um, the Hennessy Venom GT is to me has always been a nice looking car, a uh, beautiful looking car. And um, I've always liked it. That's why I saw this and I brought it with me. So let me know down in the comments section if I should try a brushless. Uh, we are going to see. I know what I am going to do. This ESC uh, is able to use lipo and nickel metal. I'm using nickel metal for right now. Um, then we're going to do a speed run on it and see what it does. So apparently from the manufacturer, this thing it was supposed to do 80 miles an hour. I want to test it on this setup. Uh, unfortunately, can't test it on the old setup because I could I don't have the remote for it. So I want to test it on this setup. Um, I don't think it's going to do 80 miles an hour. There's no way this thing is going to do 80 miles an hour. Um, I am going to try a LiPo, 2S LiPo. Um, and then I have a, this isn't it, but I do have another 540 motor over here somewhere. So I might either up it to a 540 motor and go that way. Or let me know down in the comments if I should just say the hell with it and get a uh, brushless system and do a brushless on here. I believe this is probably going to take a 112, 14, or a 16 scale motor. Um, but let me know. Let me know down in the comment section what I should do. Um, and I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to put this battery in here. So, I already showed you guys where I'm going to be putting the on-off switch, which is actually going to look pretty dang cool once it's um, once it's all set up and ready to rock and roll. Um, but on that, I that's where I'm at for right now. So, guys, stay tuned. Uh, next video might end up being this thing going out on a run to see. <laughs> what it can do so stay tuned hit that like button subscribe hit that bell notification so you can get more info on anything that i'm doing um in the rc community i do have a couple other things that i'm going to be doing i still have my monte carlo subaru that i'm trying to finish up but I saw this and I said, you know what, let me try this project and see uh, what I can do. If everything goes well with this, again, guys, hit me down in the comments section um, and let me know what I should do. So, you guys, stay tuned and stay tuned. <laughs> Keep RCing, everybody. Have a good one.